So now that we've set up our document, we've created it, we've set it up, we've added some columns, the margins that we want. Now we can kind of go into the kind of the core of InDesign and that is pages. InDesign, if you really boiled it all the way down, is a multi-page editor. It allows you to create multiple page documents, either in print form like a book or a pamphlet or in web form like a PDF. So pages are really essential to the Adobe InDesign workflow and understanding pages is critical to understanding the program. So let's go over pages. To look at pages in sort of a top down view, you can go up to the pages panel right here. If it isn't available for you, maybe it's not here, maybe it was deleted out or something like that, then you can just go up to window and you can click on the pages button right here. And once you click it, it'll pop out. And then if you just click it and drag it back into place, it should be perfectly fine. You can also go up to essentials and hit reset essentials and that'll bring it back to right here. So once we click on this, it's gonna open up this little panel right here, and this is just the page panel. It's gonna give you a view of the entire page hierarchy in your document. So this is the document, and then over here are the multiple pages within the document. And this is represented in the view right here. For example, if we click right here, we hold Alt so that we can zoom out with our mouse wheel, you'll see that there's an exact repl replication of these two documents like so. Um, up here looks identical to right here. If we click on one of these, we can actually change the page size right down here. We can edit it to like an A5, and you'll notice that the change happens here, and it also happens in our view over here. So let's change that back. We can create a bunch of new pages just by clicking this button, and you see it's creating it in a book sort of way, which means if you ever open up a book, this would be like the title page, that one page by itself. Then you flip that to the left, and you have a page right here and the page on the right. Add two more, you turn this page over, and it's these two on the bottom. If, for example, you want to make just a bunch of single pages, like in a PDF, you can just go up to File, Document Setup, and just unclick this Facing Pages button, and you'll notice that it just goes into a big line, like so, where all the pages are not connected to one another. We're going to go ahead and go with Facing Pages for right now, though. So now we see that we have a bunch of pages right here. If we want to delete one, it's just as simple. We can click on one of them. We can click the Delete key. Or actually, no, we, we have to click the Trash Can right down here, so you can delete selected page like so. If you hit control Z, you can undo different things. So uh, you can delete them multiple at a time. So if I click up here and I hold shift to select all of them, that's a little shortcut right there. Instead of having to click every one of them and delete them, you can do a lot of different things by clicking on one and then going to the end one. So the other side, holding shift and clicking, and it's going to select this one and then everything in between that and the shift click. So you can do that and you can click the delete key and you'll see that they're all deleted like so. And if you wanna, let's say, delete this one and this one, you can click here, hold down the control key, and that'll allow you to select different ones. So remember the shift key is, it'll allow you to select everything in between. The control key while clicking will let you select different ones, one at a time. And then we can also, there are a lot of customizable features in this panel. This is just sort of the basics. If we click, right click up here, you'll see that there's insert pages, move pages, duplicate the spread, delete the spread. Um, here is where you can also print the spread. So you can print out this entirety right here into a document. Uh, you can, there are different attributes that you can change. For example, the color labels, the rotational spread, uh, page transitions. And then you can also view pages uh, horizontally or vertically, which is just going to show it like sort of uh, take the pages and move them over. Our view is gonna be vertically, but it maybe you wanna look at these horizontally so you can just change it right there. Let's go back to vertically so they are similar to one another. We can insert pages easily by clicking on this and instead of having to click this button a thousand times, we could type in a thousand. And I hope that the program doesn't crash when it tries to do this. No, so we literally just created a thousand pages, just like that instead of having to click this literally a thousand times. So that's a good way to insert a bunch of pages at once. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control Z and undo that so we don't run into any processor issues. You can also um, duplicate the pages. So if you have something that you really like on this page, you could click on it, right click on it, and hit Duplicate Page. And that's gonna just duplicate it. They all look the same now, so you won't be able to see that, but um, we can actually show you right here if I put some text in there. And that's on this page right here. If I duplicate it, you'll notice that it duplicates to the end right here, and those are now identical to one another. And now let's say we actually wanted those to go one after the other. We can just click on the page here, and we can drag it up like so, so we could put it, um, you'll see that it goes to the right of that one or it goes to the left. There's a very tiny little arrow changing in between there. So you can see it, it's very subtle, so just kind of look closely there. And 
what we want to do is this is the third page so we want to go down to four and five and we want to insert it to the left of those and then we want to actually take it and swap the position like so and there we have it now they're all right next to each other so this is also really good as a top-down view to sort of swap the pages around and it also gives you a little sort of um thumbnail of what the page actually has on it. So you can look at the pages from a top-down view and see where everything is lying. Um, so we need to create something that sort of has a lot of oomph to it. So let's go to this one and we're going to go ahead and let's make it the fill right here. We'll make it per pink like so. Um, and just so you see right here, you see that it was replicated up here as well. And you can see that tiny little dot right up there as well. That's the text on both of these. So over here, it's going to show you everything um, as a sort of a thumbnail. So you can kind of, if you have like, you know, a 50 page document, you can scroll through it and kind of look at it from a top down view and see which pages have which on them. And then now you can kind of see easily where this page is in relation to everything else. So normally you wouldn't just have a bunch of blank pages that'd be full of things and it allows you to really see them quickly and edit them quickly. We can also customize the panel itself. So if we right click on this, we'll see that there are panel options in here. And the most common one that you might wanna change around is up here in the sizes. You can change around the size of what you view right here. So if we go to like extra large and click okay, this actually gives us a nice view of it that's sort of better than the other one because it was using uh it was wasting a lot of space there was a lot of space on the edges so if you're only working with one spread like so you can see that now we can see this a whole lot clearer and if we click and drag this down we can actually expand this even more and we could probably even make this go up to instead of extra large we can make them jumbo in this situation and now we have like a really good top down view if you double click on one of them it'll bring you right to that page so if we're you know jumping around doing a bunch of edits we can easily do it like so by bringing this up to jumbo over here. There are a couple other panel options. You can change the size of the masters, which are up here. Again, we'll talk about those later. And then you can change around the icons, which are gonna be like little informational icons that'll pop up whenever we do any of these sort of things like transparency spread, uh, rotation or transitions. And then in the bottom down here, we have the panel layout, which is just going to, it's basically one button that's going to move the masters from uh, on the top, or if we want the pages on the top like so, we can put those there, and then we can put the masters down here. Maybe you're working with a lot of different masters, and that's how you want it laid out. But by default, we want those on the top, and we can also sort of resize the panel as well, where the pages are a fixed size and the masters sort of move, or they're all proportional to one another. Right now, the masters are fixed size because we kind of want them to be small while we have the top-down view of the documents really large. But that is really the breakdown of the pages panel. That's as much as we need to know to get started creating different documents. Um, there are some more advanced options in there and we'll touch on a couple of those as we actually create things in the future. But from now on, you kind of have a good understanding of the pages panel and now we can move on to actually sort of finishing up the document setup and then getting into creating some different things.